hi all in this class let us learn the second electrode ion selective electrode this is also one of the most important question for the vtu and uh, all the uh, tests so here what is the ion selective electrode let us uh, go through the definition first electrodes which responds to a specific ion in a mixture by ignoring other ions are called ion selective electrodes they consists of a thin membrane in contact with its ion solution example the glass electrode so in this glass electrode is highly important its construction how it works where it is used and all so this is the five star questions let us go through the glass electrode one by one so this electrode works on the principle that when a thin low resistivity glass membrane is in contact with a solution containing hydrogen ions a potential develops across the membrane and in the solution and the potential develop depends on the concentration of the hydrogen ions in the solution so this is the basic principle of the glass electrode based on this principle this glass electrode constructed and it works so in this first part construction of a glass electrode how to uh, construct this what it contains the glass electrode so here we have five points for the construction of glass electrode the first point is it consists of a long glass tube with a thin walled glass bulb containing 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid remember i'll show you in the diagram in the next slide so it consists of a long glass tube with a thin walled glass bulb containing hydrogen ions 0.1 molar hydrogen hydrochloric acid it is a, considered as c1 second point silver silver chloride electrode placed inside the solution to provide electrical contact third point the glass electrode is dipped in unknown solution of concentration c2 fourth point the potential developed across the membrane by the exchange of ions with the composition of glass is known as the boundary potential and the equation is formula eb equals e2 minus e1 and the last point when c1 equals c2 a small potential developed across the membrane it is called the asymmetric potential e ac so this is the diagram as i explained in the previous slide this is a long glass tube containing very sensitive thin walled glass membrane at the bottom so see the cursor here i'm showing the small bulb at the end of the glass tube long glass tube it contains 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid its concentration is a c1 then a silver silver chloride electrode is immersed in the solution of hydrochloric acid which serves as external electrical connection or connector it serves as a connector see see the cursor here then all the glass electrode is dipped in unknown solution of hydrochloric acid unknown concentration x molar unknown means not known x it may be x so x molar concentrated hydrochloric acid we are taken here and inside that we have dipped in this glass electrode here this is a membrane glass membrane inside that glass membrane there is a potential development that is denoted as e1 outside the glass membrane also potential developed that is called e2 so e1 is the potential developed outside the membrane e1 is the potential developed inside the glass membrane remember this and the cell representation complete glass electrode representation is this one silver slash silver chloride slash hcl of 0.1 molar slash unknown solution slash glass this is the cell representation and this is uh, pm 2k carriage so we have developed this miniature form of the ph electrode glass electrode is also known as ph electrode for the first time this person the woman the 2k carriage developed this small miniature form of the ph electrode how it works e1 and e2 are the potential developed at outer and inner membrane respectively as shown in the diagram in the previous slide and the boundary potential is eb that is eb equals c2 minus e1 let us uh, write the nernst equation for the eb equals e2 minus e1 how eb equals 0.0591 divided by n log c2 what is c2 the concentration outside the membrane or the outside the solution 
that is e2 similarly minus 0 0.0591 divided by n log c1 what is c1 concentration of hydrochloric acid present inside the glass membrane or just we can modify this because log a minus log b equals log a by b that is what i am modifying this equation eb equals 0 0.0591 divided by n common thing log this a minus b na i am showing this as log a by b that is log c2 by c1 concentration further simplification of this equation becomes eb equals 0 0.0591 divided by n log 1 by c1 plus 0 0.0591 divided by n log c2 and now when 0 0.0591 divided by n log 1 by c1 that is left side of this plus becomes constant l only this part i am taking 0 0.0591 divided by n log 1 by c1 that is left side of the plus sign it is considered as l, l. And therefore, write this as L. The complete part of this left side of the plus sign is L plus, I'm retaining this, 0 0.0591 divided by N log C2 and the same C2 here also. And now, when the N equals 1, number of electron involved is 1, that is EB equals L plus 0 0.0591 log C2 because here, n becomes 1. This n is there, no? That becomes 1 and therefore l plus 0 0.0591 log C2. And now, for C2 is the hydrogen ion concentration in the outer membrane. What is C2? The concentration of the hydrogen ions, hydrochloric acid, outside the membrane E2. Correct? Huh? So, therefore, this play, in this place, wherever the C2 is there, we can write this H plus ion. EB equals L plus 0 0.0591 log H plus concentration. We know that pH equals minus log H plus. pH is the negative logarithm to the hydrogen ion concentration. And therefore, in this place, we can write pH. But sign changes here. L minus 0 0.0591 pH. Why? Because pH is equal to minus log H plus. And now, this L minus 0 0.0591 pH is the representation for boundary potential eb not for the glass electrode and to give the glass electrode equation this is the formula glass electrode potential is the combination of the three potentials that is boundary potential potential of glass silver silver chloride electrode potential of asymmetry together gives the eg that is eg equals eb plus e of eg bar agcl plus e of asymmetry let us substitute the value of EB in the above equation. EG equals L1, L minus 0 0.0591 pH. Where is this? EB. Plus, let us retain the same thing. Plus E of AGCL, AG bar AGCL plus E of AC. And now let us assume one more assumption here, constant, where L, this L, plus these two terms, E of AG bar AGCL plus EG, is considered as L1. Remember only these three things. See the cursor here. I'm showing L and then these two. AG of AGCL and E of asymmetry is considered as L1. And therefore, in that plus right L1. L1 minus this thing, 0 0.0591 pH. This is the glass electrode equation. So glass electrode equation, EG equals L1 minus 0 0.0591. 91 pH. Using this, how to determine the potential of unknown solution using this glass electrode? Let us go through this. The potential of a glass electrode depends on the concentration of the hydrogen ions. It is already there in the formula. Hence, pH of a solution can be determined by using glass electrode and calomel electrode assembly. And the cell assembly is represented as like this. This is the calomel and this is for glass electrode. Together gives Calomel and the glass electrode assembly representation. Hg slash Hg2 Cl2 slash Cl minus double slash solution of unknown solution pH slash glass slash 0.1 molar HCl slash AgCl slash Ag. Now this is the diagram where we have unknown solution to determine the pH. Maybe acetic acid, formic acid or oxalic acid. Any of the unknown solution. We have taken in a beaker. Into that beaker two electrodes are dipped here. 
one is SCE means standard calomel electrode which acts as an anode and a glass electrode here right side that acts as a cathode and both the electrodes are deep in, uh, connected to the pH meter. Now EMF is given by this equation for these two E cell equals E cathode minus E anode. As I already said here glass electrode acts as a cathode calomel electrode SCE standard calomel electrode acts as an anode. In that place I have written this E cell equals E G minus E of SCE and therefore already we know the derivation of the formula of a glass electrode it is EG in the place of EG L1 minus 0 0.059 on pH and minus of this E SCE minus this E. And now we want to calculate pH and therefore take out the pH outside pH equals L1 minus E SCE minus ECE E cell divided by 0 0.0591 and now let us assume that K is L1 minus E SCE that is L1 minus E SCE these two. Let us assume these two as a constant L1 minus E of SCE in this place let us write the K and therefore K minus E cell divided by 0 0.0591 is the pH. So what is the formula of pH? pH equals E K minus E cell divided by 0 0.0591. So this is about the determination of pH of a solution.